Hey everyone, my name is Matt Saunders and this is my video on Typhoon Tip. So Typhoon Tip is one of the largest and most intense cyclones to ever be recorded. Uh, Typhoon Tip developed out of a monsoon trough in the western Pacific Ocean near the Philippines and Guam. Uh, this monsoon trough created several tropical storms this year and cyclones with one being Tropical Storm Roger which was crucial to the development of Typhoon Tip. Tropical Storm Roger prevented the formation of another low pressure system which eventually would become Tropical Storm Tip. Tropical Storm Tip maintained a smaller size and intensity until Tropical Storm Roger was caught in western currents, allowing a lower pressure system to develop for Tip to grow. Additionally, outflow from Roger, Typhoon season, as well as an upper tropospheric trough provided the perfect conditions for Tip to develop into a Typhoon. This was the birth of Typhoon Tip. Tip reached its peak intensity on October 12, 1979, around 520 miles north-northwest of Guam. Tip had winds reaching 190 miles per hour and an eye diameter of 9.3 miles. This storm was large enough to cover half of the contiguous United States. Tip had become a super typhoon. Typhoon Tip had an extensive impact on other spheres of the Earth system as well. After turning northerly, Tip made landfall on Honshu, Japan, and created over 600 mudslides as well as extensive flooding throughout the mountainous regions of Japan. By the pure nature of typhoons, both the atmosphere and hydrosphere are involved, but the sheer size and direction of typhoon tip brought the geosphere into play as well. When typhoon tip made landfall in Japan, the societal and economic impact of the super typhoon skyrocketed. Over 22,000 homes were flooded, leaving an estimated minimum of 11,000 homeless. The heavy rainfall from Tip breached a dam, causing an electrical fire in a U.S. Marine base, which left 68 injured and 13 dead. Thankfully, Tip's intensity had drastically decreased by the time it made landfall, where there would have likely been catastrophic damage. As far as human reaction and prevention effort, there was little that could be done. The size and intensity of this typhoon was so massive that very few things were able or possible to be done to lessen the damages. However, there were roughly 40 recon plane trips to track the storm and its wind speed, size, and pressure. These measurements were useful for the tracking and assessment of future typhoons. Thank you.